Today, we are going to be running some more dungeons. And yes, I'm not on my island. I had uh, someone in the comments point out to me that I have been doing intros on my island a lot. The past about 40 episodes of the series, in fact, I, I think. I don't know, this is just a rough estimate. But uh, yeah, we, um, from now on, I'm going to not be doing intros on my island. We're going to be doing it instead in areas relating to what I'm doing. We are in the Dungeons Hub right now, in surrounded by mushrooms. Anyway, that's beyond the point. But we are going to be doing some more F6 today, doing a little bit of giant sword grinding. And also, I am a tad bit sick when recording this, so sorry for any audio sounding weird that that causes. And also, my Forge game files broke, so I had to reset that all today before recording this. So if anything looks weird, sorry, I just need to get this done. But uh, yeah, before the video begins, gotta be a good little YouTuber guy, gotta ask you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, you can hit the notification bell. If you're feeling extremely generous, you can join my Discord server and follow me on Twitch. Both link in the description. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Hey you. Uh, yeah. You. Yeah. Hey. hey you know, you should, uh, you, you should sub, you know, because uh, at, at 5k I'm gonna be giving away uh, 250 million coins, yeah. Hey, you, you should sub, okay. Yeah, and back to the video now. As stated in the intro, my Forge game files actually broke. My actually entire Minecraft got corrupted somehow. Not sure how that happened, but I had to reinstall all my mods, and I got everything looking all presentable and whatnot again, except for one thing, my inventory. It's not got the first guy textures, and I have no idea how to fix it. I managed to fix it before on Forge with a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and I do not remember how I did it, so... If you know how to fix that, please let me know in the comments section, but for the time being, we will have to do with the default Minecraft textures. But anyway, you may be wondering why I'm in the hub by the bazaar. I was uh, pointed out in the comments section that this should have Sugar Rush on it. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but we do need to put Sugar Rush 3 on this. So let us see here. I don't think it's that expensive. Never mind, that is pretty expensive. 3 mil. Not awful. Uh, I can mine that in an hour or so. But yeah, we just need to pop Sugar Rush 3 on here for that extra little bit of speed. Uh, and now, if we hit a Warp Dungeons, we can actually get into the F6s. Now, while I'm setting this up, I will say, as I'm recording this, I'm pretty sure that Kismets are still bugged. So we will unfortunately not be Kismeting any chests at the moment. Just that uh, I'd say that, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the runs. Second run of the day, getting ready here. I honestly have no idea if the first run got recorded or not. This one I looked over, it, it, the recording was paused. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, draw your eyes to my UI again. It looks awful. But uh, yeah, if my first run got recorded, cool. If it didn't, cool. I'm rambling, I had something prepared to say, and I entirely forgot it, so I probably just look like an idiot right now. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not getting anything good here, at all. Oh, oh, wow, uh, yeah, definitely not anything good already, so I guess we're just going with a free chest. And I also wanted to test if Kismets were um, still bugged, since it's been a while since I heard info about that, and I decided I should test it. And then I forgot, I'm forgetting a lot of things right now, this is fun. This one, I did manage to get my UI under control, so everything looks all nice again. I do need to move that uh, secrets shown thing back down to the bottom left. But yeah, other than that, we do have it under control now. So let us see here. We got Feather Falling 6. Very nice. No problem. The Diamond Chest with hmm, Wisdom 1 in the Gold Chest. Not too bad, not too bad. Ultimate Wise and Swarm in the Emerald Chest. Ooh. And we got no profit, and a little bit of no profit. So I do want to see if the um, Kismet bug is still a thing, because apparently it wasn't re-rolling the first slot. So let, let's see here, let's just waste one Kismet. And, oh, oh okay, uh, never mind, Kismets are working again, so uh, I guess I will be using those. But yeah, we're going to be going with the Emerald Chest. Anyways, another run about to be done with here. And funny story, turns out that uh, Mage Ult actually kills my frame rate despite me having thrown a lot more frame-intensive things at this PC. Uh, for instance, like, I don't know, Star with Battlefront 2, that's decently frame-intensive, and, you know, just blowing up a bunch of TNT in survival, but anyway, that's beyond the point. I had to turn on Hide Lightning, because apparently 
Majolt, for whatever reason, decides, you know what, your computer doesn't get to function anymore. Haha, <laughs> take 15 FPS, idiot. E yeah. But uh, anyway, Bedrock Chess, gonna reroll this boy. And what do we got? We have no profit. Which one of these was profit? I cannot see. I forgot. Hold on. Uh, let me just fix this real fast. I'm not gonna remember to fix this. Let me just fix it. Uh, let's put it up here, but... Good grief. Okay. We have gold chest. Gold chest is 75k profit. Very nice. And another run about to be in the books here. I only got one Kismet left, so we will have to get a couple more after this run. We did end up getting the Hype Mage here, so yeah, that went pretty fast, but five minute run, not too bad. Not too bad at all. But we got a Feather Falling 6, very nice, and no profit. A little bit of um, 75k profit, very nice. And we also got no profit, a little bit less profit with actual profit, hold up. Oh, Necromancer Sword. I've been needing one of those, actually. 10 million coins, though? Uh, I don't need it that badly. Honestly, I'm just gonna sell it. So, yeah, gonna spend the 10 mil, and I'm gonna sell that Necromancer Sword. Alrighty, uh, I know it seems weird to unpause my recording in the middle of a run, but something is causing my game to have a seizure. And I honestly have no idea what it is. This didn't happen before to me when I uh, originally set up Forge. This is uh, a new thing. And my computer is pretty decent. It should be able to handle this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I disabled lightning and all that, but... Uh, what I'm unpausing this to say is, uh, if you have any ideas of what's causing this, please leave it in the comments. Uh, also, this only seems to be happening inside of dungeons. Uh, another run about to be done here. And uh, this should be pretty good. I have one more Kismet left. Very nice. I am talking about random stuff. And yay. Honestly, I'm kind of brain dead today. I have no idea why I decided to record. But yes, here I am. Anyway, uh, no profit there. As well as no profit there. With a little bit of profit there. With a little bit of no profit there. And no profit here, so let's go ahead and reroll this boy. You know, circle around it for a few times, and no profit. So let's see here, what are what are we going with? Emerald chest? Sure, come here. Uh, another run here. I believe I did actually fix the lag issues I was having. I just um, turned my hostile render distance down in Patcher, and I believe that fixed it. But yeah, anyway, Sedan's about to die, and I forgot to buy more Kismets. Yay. But, yeah, no kismets here. I need to unlock that slot. Let's see what we got here. We have a free chest. Nothing special. Nothing special. And nothing that special. And nothing special. As well as a little bit of nothing special with a little more not special stuff. So I guess we will be going with the gold chest this run. Very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, I need to get more kismets. Next run coming up here. And uh, I did buy more Kismets, but it turns out I am hilariously low on bits, so I was only able to afford three. I didn't realize I hadn't bought a booster cookie in that long. I forgot I had booster cookie um, buff for like a month. <laughs> so I really need to buy um, some more booster cookies. But yeah, what do we got here? We have Feather Falling 6 and nothing with a little bit of... Wow, that is a minuscule amount of profit. And nothing nothing with a, a little bit of nothing to top that out so uh, let's go ahead and reroll this you know gotta crouch spin around and spin around and man, no giant sword still man i just gotta open the free chest and i also want to remind you how many runs i've done i have 160 runs which a decent amount of them have been kismeted and still no giant sword i i'm hurting inside also i want to check my uh, RNG meter. I believe that is under skills, dungeoneering, catacombs, RNG meter. I want to see how much XP I'm at. 10,000. Wow, okay. That is a lot less than I thought it'd be. Alrighty, so, uh, turns out, uh, doing that setting patcher did not help my frame rate. It is still seizing galore. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't already, please leave a comment to help me out with this. I have no idea what's happening. I am dying. This is hurting. Everything is on fire. And another run coming up here. So, for some reason, my frames just decide they do not like me. 
And I don't think this is a computer problem, I think this is something weird happening with Minecraft. But, uh, yeah, my frames aside, you know what, screw you. And that's only in the run. Only in the dungeon's run. In the boss fight, fine. Anywhere else, fine. Crystal Hollows, fine. Like, the biggest area in the game, fine. Yet, I, I don't know, but... We got some profit over there. A little bit of not profit. Some more not profit. A little bit of not profit. And some more not profit. With some more also not profit. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and re-roll this boy. So let's see what we get here. And a whole lot more not profit. So we are going to go with the free chest. That is going to be the end of the video. And also you may notice, I am on my island right now. Yeah, I only said I was going to stop doing intros on the island, not outros, but I figured in the spirit of changing up how I'm doing my intro, I might as well change up how I do my outro. So from now on, from this video, I will be doing my outro on my island, but in a random spot, and it's going to be uh, very, very nice. Today, I'm actually, you know, on my false void. Very cool, but... Yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. I would have, you know, made it a little bit longer, but that party ended up getting disbanded, and I don't feel like making another party. I would have only added, like, two or three more runs anyway, so we're just going to cut it off here. But, yeah, that is the end. No giant sword, unfortunately, and I really hope when I go back and edit this, I don't sound super congested, as I feel super congested. Being sick is miserable. But uh, yeah, that is the end. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll hopefully see you on the next one, and goodbye.